for race six. Here they come. And they're off in the even numbered pads. Their first three off the gate from the outside. Port Perry down the center. Built strong from the inside is ripped and ready. Then we go back to find Blue Cupertino, fourth away. Fifth from the rail, left out. You're still up. Sliding down in sixth goes Golden Dynamite. And if Horse Trader is to repeat, he'll have to do so from last into the first turn. McClure to the front, sending Port Perry to the lead by two open lengths. Back in second, Built strong. Ripped and ready. Third, Blue Cupertino, fourth. We did have a breaker. Golden Dynamite blew up in the backfield. Opening quarter was 29 and 1. So into the backstretch now. And on that early lead, this is Port Perry. Port Perry leading the charge right there, head to helmet second. Trots along long shot, built strong, two three eights. Then ripped and ready in blue Cupertino, followed by your still up. And starting up move is Horse Trader. Though it looks like Henry loves some cover. Horse Trader tips to the outside from in sixth. As the field is by the midway point, Port Perry leads the charge. Port Perry. Length and a half better than Build Strong in 59 and 3. A crawl fest of a second quarter of 30 and 2. The luxury afforded to McClure, though, is he got no pressure on him at all. And into the final turn goes Port Perry. Port Perry stealing away here with very sensible speed. Build Strong is second, third to the rail is ripped and ready. Blue Cupertino first over, driving fourth now. Horse Trader advancing on the cover, and he is loaded from in fifth. Sixth in the backfield is yours still up. They go to three quarters. Henry sending now Horse Trader three wide. As McClure steals away to a two-length lead off three quarters of 128 and four, and that was a 29 and one third quarter into the stretch. The one to catch is Port Perry. Port Perry wanders out into the center of the racetrack where he's comfortable. He's clear nonetheless. Late speed outside coming now from Horse Trader Blue Cupertino towards the inside. Ripped and ready up the rail late. This one is a crush for Port Perry. Poor Perry romped away. He had to win it by at least eight or nine lengths. The mile 156 and 2, 27 and 3 on the end for Port Perry. McClure blade determination at it again, this time capturing the second OSS gold with Port Perry on the front end, kicking home in 27 and a piece, 56 and 2. Uh, I mean, I know, Bob, you got things your own way, but when you asked this guy, man, oh, man, did he ever respond? Yeah, he's kind of showing a different level here. It's, uh, that's what's so fun about young two-year-old trotters and them. They change every week, but, um, I mean, two weeks ago, I would say he was our third best colt, but tonight he, he looked like the best. It's just amazing how quickly they can improve. Let's let's talk about strategy because this is the first time, at least on paper, that he's shown this kind of ability. Is this something you just knew you wanted to try early on with him? Well, I know uh, we wanted to manage him real good because he's so big that uh, I think uh, Luke's done a real good job keeping him sound to this point because he's kind of too big for this year. But I think it's uh, it's nice that he's he's got two wins a second. He's probably solidified in the super final. Gives Luke some freedom with him to set him up for the big day. Anything specifically that you can maybe pinpoint that he just does really, really well? Well, he, he didn't uh, post braid that great today, and uh, I wasn't real happy. I scored him, and he still wasn't real happy. And then uh, he saw the gate, and he just he's all racehorse, and uh, you can't teach that. Game face on. Hey, these questions are going to keep coming for you, at least in, in, in the near future. Have you taken time yet to sit back and reflect on, obviously, what happened this past Saturday with the Hamiltonian? Yeah, I did, and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the second race tonight can humble you to it too because, uh, you know, it brings you back to earth. But um, it, it was a really great day, and uh, it's a day I won't forget for a long time. And it's, yeah, it's sinking in now, but um, I just feel very fortunate to be in the uh, position that I'm in that I get that kind of opportunity because a lot of really great drivers drive their whole career and never get an opportunity, let alone the chance to win it. Well, you, you made us all very proud, and uh, we congratulate you on that. And we're excited to see him out here on Monday. All right, thank you. All right, there's Bob McClure. It's Luke Blade, Determination, Port Perry in 156-2. and two.